Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to be another video uh, in our second set of videos dealing with hand calculations associated with hypothesis tests. Uh, it's going to concentrate on another type of scenario. Actually, this scenario is what's defined to be a test of difference uh, between two population proportions. Uh, but like the way I went through the previous scenarios, uh, I'll show you how we can actually rationalize from the scenario what type of test there is, given that I've already said that it's a test of the distant difference between two proportions. But let's just see actually what this scenario is talking about. Uh, the first thing is just in relation to the context. This context has got to do with the central bank, and more importantly, it's got to do with the central bank in Ireland, okay, and in re relation to people that hold mortgages with respect to their homes. Uh, and there's a particular concept that's called the trading down concept. It's where somebody has a particular home, uh, maybe it's a four bedroom house or a three bedroom house, uh, they've got all older their children have left the home and what they want to do is they want to trade down to a smaller home but they still have a mortgage if that makes sense so a home that has less rooms and so on and so forth they don't need such a big house so that's what we mean by that concept of trading down okay but there's another important concept associated with mortgages and mortgages for homes in Ireland. Uh, we can have mortgages that are based off a fixed interest rate or mortgages that are based off, I suppose, a variable interest rate that's tracks, that tracks the interest rate for, let's say, the Europe, uh, based on the European Central Bank interest rates. Okay? And they're called tracker mortgages. Okay? Uh, so in this particular sample, uh, sorry, in this particular uh, example, uh, let me maybe just run through this, this scenario. Okay. Uh, you can change this for any country, yeah. Just try to put it into context with respect to where you live, yeah. The central bank is examining whether there is any difference in the willingness of different banks to allow mortgage holders to retain their tracked mo tracker mortgage if they trade down. Okay. So in other words, what the central bank is examining is that based on the different banks in the different regions, yeah, which all have to report into the central bank, okay, they want to f try to figure out whether there's differences in the behaviour or the willingness of different banks across different regions to allow customers to hold on to these tracker mortgages when the actual customer wants to trade down with respect to their home. In other words, they want to get a smaller home and they want a mortgage with respect to the smaller home instead. So what the bank is actually done it's commissioned it, it commissions an independent survey of two main lenders in other words it commissions an independent survey of two banks and the information that's provided is a sample of 120 trading down customers of a bank in Cork showed that 108 of them were permitted to keep their tracker mortgage while a sample of 150 trading down customers of a bank in Cavan showed that 120 were permitted to keep their mortgage. Okay? So what we have here is we have two samples, okay, and we have two pieces of information that's been given with respect to each sample. Okay? The first sample of 120, so what I said is let's pull out the numbers. So a sample of 120, there's 120, okay? So that's my sample size, okay? That's the sample size. Actually, let's say that's that's the first sample size, okay? So that's the first sample size if that makes sense okay there was 120 people 120 uh, mortgage customers in that particular sample from a cork bank and it showed that 108 of them customers were allowed permitted by the bank to keep their tracker mortgage so we have 108 of them customers yeah okay were allowed to keep their tracker okay so we're allowed we're allowed to keep to keep their tracker mortgage so allowed to keep yeah okay and then what we had is we have another sample. So actually, these two things here are tightly coupled together. That's the information for the first sample. Then we have, while a sample of 150 trading down customers of a Cavan bank. So in this camp sample, there was 150 customers. So this is another sample size. Okay, it's another sample size. This is the second sample okay, information that was given. And of them 150 customers in this Cavan bank, it showed that 120 of them were permitted to keep their tracker mortgage. So 120 were allowed, were allowed to keep their tracker mortgage. Okay? And this is my second sample information that's been provided. Okay? The main thing to keep in mind here is that we have two proportions, okay? There's no mention of any averages, there's no mention of any mean values in here, there's no mention of any standard deviations, but what we are given is we're given, we're given 
two pieces of information based on two samples. So it's a it's a two sample test, okay? Uh, but more importantly, the information that's been given has been relative frequencies, if that makes sense. So what we actually have is we have proportions, okay? Now what we're asked to do is we're asked to perform a hypothesis test at the five percent significance level. So the next number that we have is five percent, and that's clearly our significance level. So that's our significance, our significance level, if that makes sense. Okay. So, based off the first proportion, let's call this P1, okay, well P1 is going to be equal to, the proportion is, there was 108 relative to 120, so it's 108 over 120, okay. The second proportion for the second sample, let's call that P2, okay, uh, there was 120 people relative to the 150 that were asked the question. So we have two proportions. Now, then proportions as decimals, okay, is we have 108, 108 divided by 120 gives us a value of 0 0.9. Okay, so actually about 90% of the customers uh, for the first sample were allowed to keep their trackers. Okay, the second proportion is 120 divided by 150 gives us a value of it gives a value of 0 0.8. Okay, so it was about 80% in the second bank were allowed to keep their trackers. And the question that's really being asked here is to perform a hypothesis test at the 5% level of significance to determine whether the proportion of traders down that were permitted to retain their tracker mortgages differs between the Cork Bank and the Cavan Bank. Okay? Now, the important thing to keep in mind here is this, is that each one of these samples have been drawn from populations. Now, we don't know whether they've been